Oh, the concert starts in 30 minutes. Look at my hands. They're shaking and mm, I have a dry mouth and it's so hot. I need something to drink. Oh, pff, no, I, no, I have to go to the bathroom. Ooh. Do you know this situation? Well, welcome to N, nervousness. Everyone who performs in front of an audience would be super happy if the physical symptoms of nervousness, such as shaky knees, trembling hands, fast heartbeat, dry mouth and sweating, would just not be there. Life would be so much easier, we think. But that's not completely true. Nervousness belongs to performing. It is a natural process and it is nothing you should try to fight against. The symptoms of nervousness are uncomfortable, definitely. But nervousness is a natural part of performing because on the good side it makes us more alert and concentrated and emotionally more receptive to fine nuances in the music and interaction with other players. So all aspects that we need for a good performance. Let's take a quick look at the Jörgs Dodson law. And you will see that the quality of the performance rises with the level of arousal. That means that you need to be somewhat nervous in order not to play boring. Only when the level of arousal is too high the quality declines again. In this case, we speak of performance anxiety and this is a condition that should be treated and worked on. A big mistake is that many musicians confuse normal nervousness with performance anxiety. Just don't do that. If you happen to suffer from performance anxiety, you should work with a mental trainer and doctor to get rid of it. If you belong to the majority of musicians who feel uncomfortable due to the nervousness but can still play at their usual level, you can also work with the mental trainer and learn to live with and to control the symptoms so that you feel more relaxed and more comfortable when performing.